whole nose of yours just works on the buckle and pops right off and slides. And he has no idea that you just stole a short sword from him. Nice. Okay. I, I, um, I throw up an orange at his feet and then I leave. <laughs> <laughs> a magical horse. Ooh. And now is, is the, uh, is the orange wet or is or orange dry? And I mean that is, was it in your mouth or was it with you? Um, it was with me. Okay. He comes in and approaches. Excuse me, magical horse. How would you like a job? I could use a, a mount like you to ride across this country and 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 fight the random encounters here in Raiders Follies. Unfortunately, I'm already gainfully employed, sir. Oh, well, he, he passes you a, a small bit of papyrus and it's like, here's my contact and scry information if you would ever need it and are looking for a well-paid position. Thank you. All right. I take the, the, the contact information. All right. You, you look at it and it, it's is on it. It says uh, Bob Barker, game show host. Okay. <laughs> Am I too young to get that reference? Probably. Apparently so. Oh my god. <laughs> the price uh, is wrong. Welcome back. The Necromantic Empire. Fantasy on the game. Capitalism. 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 Season 3. I'm your ghost, Alina. Wait for applause. Well, Hogan bent on revenge. Wink emoji sets out to his childhood home. He is determined to confront his uncle, Chet. Cookie remains baffled by an encounter with a serial spay and neuter game show host. Kreeth is just along for the ride. Again, let's meet the spell components. I'm Cookie. I'm a horse. I'm really good at being a horse. A normal, evil horse. Hogan Savage here, your favorite Goblin King. Looks like this part of the adventure had really kicked off with a bang, didn't it? Oof, it's Kreef again. I'm still a good boy. I even learned how to swim now. Woof. Take it away, you unmoving hulk of a man. Um, I mean troll. You wonderful, wonderful episode troll. Hey. Episode Troll left in a day in here. Uh, this show is a continuous story that the NPCs are attempting to stray from. So, if you are uh, skipping episodes, uh, uh, there may be some details that are quite confusing. Uh, management uh, uh, recommends you listen to the show in order so things don't get lost or uh, uh, out of context. But if you thrive on chaos, you do you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if, you, if you're driving, have your imps set the scry to uh, D&D. Thanks for summoning the show for your entertainment. <laughs> Clamor! We are adults and use adult language, which has ironically not matured. We will have and discuss adult situations. Whether this is offensive is all on you. Welcome to the Necromantic Empire. Fantasy of the game. Gatolizo. Gatolizo. Even... <laughs> Even he knows it. Right. That means it's bad. Okay, so you Drew don't. Carey. It says Drew Carey on Does that help? Yes, I know who that is. Okay. Because of whose line is it anyway? He's okay. the, he's, he basically was Bob Barker's uh, replacement. And Bob okay. Barker was really big into... Uh, Spaying and neutering your spaying. animals. Yes. <laughs> Wait, let me... Um, and not just your let animals. Let me evil Google this Any guy. pets. Okay. Mm-hmm. You find stray animals outside. I have no idea who off. this is. This is like the oldest person I've ever Did seen. Did you in my ever life. see the movie Happy Gilmore? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever uh, my see a man are here. whose teeth Happy match cookies? Happy Gilmore release date. Nineteen ninety-three. Four years before I was born. <laughs> What's Happy Gilmore ninety-three? I have no idea. What year is it? It's nineteen ninety-six. Fuck all. Yeah. I was all right. I think I was. 11? But maybe yeah, 12? Just look up Bob Barker and see a man with the spookiest teeth and the tannest skin. She did. She said it's the oldest yeah. person she has ever seen ever. Ever? Well, I mean, like, aside from, like, Prince Philip. <laughs> uh, yeah, you've seen some old people. I know you have. That's okay. He's a dead old person, so it's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Got him. <'em. laughs> 
Wow, we got to 90. I couldn't even get to triple digits. <laughs> what a fucking loser. Mm-hmm. Look, Betty White barely missed 100, too. Come on. She was days away from 100. I know. That was yeah. the sad oh part. Oh, my gosh. That's the worst. Uh-huh. She was technically there. Yeah. yeah. You know who Betty White is? Yes, obviously. But doesn't know who Bob Barker is. Yeah, obviously. The, you, know. you were never homesick watching daytime TV, and then The Price is Right came on? Remember, we couldn't afford daytime TV. It's public access. <laughs> We, okay, I, I, if I was a kid, I was watching Cubo, or I was watching the VHS version of the Cats musical that my dad recorded off of PBS. <laughs> Respect for it being VHS. Yeah. Apparently you have, a, yeah. have approval there, yes. <sighs> Man, that, that was a journey. <laughs> and now I feel fucking ancient. I'm going to yeah. go get lost in the foliage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am too now. I'm just going to wander off. Just go for men to obscurity. <laughs> I'm going to go seek out a Wendigo and get fucking eaten. <laughs> you weaklings. I know what I'm about. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Let's see. What, when, what year did you say Happy Gilmore came out? I said 93. 96. 96. Okay, it was 96. Uh, how old were you in 96? Well, it was when Pokemon came out, so I was uh, six or seven. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you were in high school. I was 26. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was sixth grade, so I was 11 going on 12 that year. I was 10. <laughs> so it's you, then me, and then these fucking codgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, Stadler, I, I love Waldorf watching and some older fuck. <laughs> I love watching these little kids get upset about age. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great story. Loved it. Fantastic. The yeah. ball was a little weak. Yeah. yeah Could have used some more filler. Oh, oh I what, hate it. What'd you Ooh. say? Can Ooh. you say that again? Where's my teeth? Bring the frog back. No, take him away again. Yes. Oh, I know that reference. <laughs> wow. Sorry. <laughs> she also watched the Muppet <laughs> Show on VHS. <laughs> Who didn't watch the Muppet Show? Even if it was on VHS. Come on. I watched the Muppet Show. We had like the, the 10 DVD set. Ooh, upgrade. Ooh. Yeah. Fancy. This has been a hell of a digression. Either way, Bob Barker hands you a fucking business card. <laughs> and you walk away saying, no, thank you. Yes. And, and a bunch yes. of people at home suddenly feel their hair fall out. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, I trot back to Korea and I'm like, I just got some guy's phone number. Do you want it? No. Okay. I'll ask Hogan if he wants it. I think he's yeah. getting a divorce, right? Yeah. Yeah, he he deserves uh, some... Um... That's news to me. Me too. Well, the public bathrooms are really nice. I can't complain about that. What have you guys I found been up your to? new boyfriend. A new boyfriend? Yeah, and I hand him like, the contact information that um, Bob Barker gave me. Bob Barker, game show host. There's something Scry about that name huh. that makes me quake inside. <laughs> <laughs> Phantom weird. pain. Bob Barker. <laughs> Is that like a racist name? I don't know. Ah. That was Hogan's cry. Oh. You have a message from Gobletta. The rabbit died. I, I didn't know we had a rabbit. It's the drunk <sighs> rabbit. Oh, my drunk rabbit. No. Well, wait. Those are in my bag. Wait a minute. They're fine. What fucking rabbit? These are the drunk ones. They're okay. Why do I still have you? Your whole timeline away cute though save you <laughs> you don't message back then or anything it's like i message back what rabbit send and then re- received witch doctors witch doctors rabbit have i forgotten something what's it say about three months in Oh. Wait. Are you expecting? Click, 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 click. All caps. We're expecting. Comrade. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, so in this timeline, we like, we were like deep married married. Yep. Gross. Oh, we were pretty deep before we left. Put <laughs> 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 Yeah. Yeah, everybody's allowed to vomit. Yes. It's fine. Um. Well. 
That's interesting, because if we have timelines again and she goes with us, she'll still be... Because we didn't do anything before we got here, did we? This timeline's all fucked up. I'm really confused, and now yeah, I'm panicking. Why would you ask us, Hogan? I don't know. You gave me. We a... don't know about. You have what you no do. memory of any sort of actual physical contact outside of maybe an occasional brushing, or pulling out of a pit, or yeah. so on and so forth. Okay. You don't even remember getting married. Right. No, we were both surprised at that. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. Well, I looks like I'm gonna be a father. Ha. Huh. I'll take that back. That uh, contact information. Then you don't need a boyfriend. No, no, I don't. Unless you do. What is but then a? You don't. What is a half elf? Sorry, a half elf slash half goblin going to wind up? So it's like? a quarter elf, quarter human, half goblin. Yeah. A goblin elf. Golf. Elflin. Mm. A mutt. Ugly. That I could probably agree on. And Hold also on. your point, Kreeth. Um. Oh, Mutt's a good name. I'm going to keep that one. Just write it underneath my hat bill here real quick. Mutt. Uh, all right. So, well, I think, gang, I think we could just walk up into the castle. Yeah. Nobody here okay. knows that I'm me. Because I'm not me from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's just, let's just go on up. Okay. You see signs saying castle this way. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get about halfway to the castle and suddenly you see... Like what looks like a traffic jam of adventures. Uh, excuse me, there. Pardon me. Uh, knight on the big steed, right in, right in front. Uh, yes. What can I help you with today? Uh, how long is the wait for the castle? And then, uh, may I ask? I-, I hadn't heard, but what's the uh, what's the goings on? Oh, uh, this is a simple uh, excursion to uh, go in and uh, basically. Make your way through the castle looking for all treasures and taking out the guards. Uh, you have a three and a half hour wait from this point. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh. Come on, where's the thing that Ariel does? Where's his, Where's the time skip? No. Damn it. All right. Can we talk about that thing that always makes time go wiggity? No, because that was a whole timeline ago. And I mean... I, I feel like Bluter kind of, like, remembered that at a point and it stopped working, didn't it? Remembered what? I don't remember anything. I remember didn't everything. I? But nothing. What? Huh? What? Huh? I don't huh? think I ever managed to shit out that ruby. The ruby. Oh, yeah, you did. That's how we, uh, you popped it out and, uh, threw it in the thing and then you got the centaur version of, uh, uh, Leroy. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 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 And then it was really... <laughs> and then Malcomation. That, yeah, and then okay. it was... Centaurs. Then it was <laughs> he was a werewolf too. It was kind of funny. So he was a were human centaur rat folk thing. Yeah, yeah but it's it, uglier than your child. Yeah. Oh my god, you're pregnant? Well, one of me is the other half. But uh, yeah, I also remember the Leroy melted because it was really unstable. Mm, okay. Kind of just like disintegrated into a puddle. Probably for the best, honestly. Do I see any what look like goblin guards just like hanging out in spots like? Supposedly looking like they're like real guards, but are at this like, point of the line, no, you don't see anything. Anybody at the beginning of the line, like someone with a pamphlet? Is there a is there a souvenir kiosk nearby with a goblin? R- roll a uh, perception. While you're doing that, can I just imagine the, somebody in that line overhearing everything you just fucking said out loud? And just goes, absolutely. What? And there's like, what the fuck did I just hear? <laughs> as they're just propping along. Sorry, weird adventure. I got a strange package. Mm. That's what yeah, she you said. Mm. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, I got a seven on perception. I take it that means I don't see shit. No, you don't see anything. Okay. Hey, what if what if you pretended you were delivering an emergency horse to someone in the in the front? Oh shit, that's a good idea. Okay, hang on a second. Excuse me, emergency mount delivery. Excuse me, pardon me, emergency mount delivery. Performance. For both of us? I'm as good at yes. th- as good at that as I am everything else. Seventeen. Okay. Let's see what the horse does. Five! Oh, now the tables have turned. <laughs> Alright. Uh, people seem to be making way, but uh, I guess uh, the mask shifts and <sighs> Cookie ends up stepping on a few people and Ooh. causes some eruption and a small guard comes up and uh, do you want to handle the guard on this one? Sure. Okay, go for it. Thanks. 
Excuse me, what is this? What's going on here? Oh, pardon me, this is an emergency mount delivery. There's somebody in the front of the line that ha- doesn't have their mount. Do you have a name? Uh, yes, Bob Barker. But I know Bob, he's down at the meat wall. And now he gave us the information, said he needed one at the front of the line. Do you have any, like, requisition forms, papers, anything that I can use to, you know, oh. verify... One moment here. Let me let me rummage through my scry for a second. Come on, imps, help me out, guys. Can I roll for intimidation? Yes, you can. All right, go ahead and roll okay, for the... Okay, fabulous. I got a 21. All right. Five. Five. Okay, the, the imps are kind of lost. Uh, um, Captain Hogan, I'm not sure what you're doing. This is very contrary to your normal activities here. Okay, well, how are you going to uh, in, intimidate them? Um, I look at the guards with my dead horse eyes, my gross, haunted, weirdly shaped eyes, and I go, (laughs) (laughs) That'll do it. It's the silence that I like. Um, okay. I, you should get those goods checked out. Uh, Mm. good, uh. I'm tired of looking at that. Uh, go ahead and just, um, I'll, I'll get in contact with Bob and let him know that his, his horse has been, uh, being delivered. Go, 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 go. Thank go. you. Sorry for the disturbance again. Thank you. Disturbance indeed. All right. Uh, you weave your way through. The, the guards seem to be clearing it up for you. Mm-hmm. It, it actually still takes you another 20 minutes to get to the front just because of all this. Uh, you do hear a few people, hey, you're cutting lines, but it's just not near. Emergency mount delivery. When people start complaining, I go up and ask them for a pet. Aww. All right. mm-hmm. Pet, 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 pet. I don't like dogs, but you're cute. <laughs> scratch, scratch, scratch. Yes, I am. <laughs> All right, you get up to the front of the line, and uh, <clears throat> you have the, the ticket booth there. Uh, I'm going to need to have uh, one, two, three tickets, please, to go in to deliver this mount. I know I have to pay the fee at the door. I know. You don't have to. You, you, you cut the line. Mm-hmm. You, you're not allowed to, to do to do that. You, you cut the line. We saw uh, you I'm an emergency through. horse, sir. Then do you know why, what emergency means? If you're an emergency, why are you buying tickets? Great. Okay, then let us through. I uh, uh, need uh, identification. He pulls out I'll a... roll for intimidation again. <laughs> he pulls out a <laughs> small scry and says, please place your uh, your scry on here for uh, identification. I place my scry. <laughs> I, and I stare at him. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Got 24 intimidation. 24 intimidation. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll go for an intimidation as well. On All right, go ahead. Seven. This dice has been hell. All right, so... Uh, you hear uh, the, the guard. Uh, he's like, well, "One moment, please." Uh, um, yeah, uh, uh, sir. Uh, the 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 uh, tar- yeah. Mm-hmm. Emergency horse is uh, has arrived. Wink, wink. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, I I'm letting him through now, sir. I I do not wish to be chewed on by a horse with fangs and teeth that look worse than any sort of vampire movie made in the 1920s. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. On his way. Yeah. Bye. As, as, of course, you're hearing that, the gate is opened up and you're kind of rushed through for the others. Uh, you can smell the sweat and various other body odors coming off the very intimidated at... What did you roll? A 24? Yeah. Uh, uh, off this uh, goblin, yeah. Mm-hmm. So. I love I the smell of the... Uh... For a pet as we're walking through. You get a very sweaty palm pet. You can just feel it on your hair, just... Do they have any sort of device to scan tickets or anything to implement? Uh, best you can tell was that uh, that one scry he held up that Hogan tapped his hope. I wonder tube. if I can nick that. Does he set it down or does it go in his pocket? Uh, it seems to be attached to him, but you can try. I mean, it's like it's on a belt with a loop. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Oh, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, you probably got help with lubricating the uh, the the, be- the buckles off because of you sweating so much. I ask for extra pets as I kind of gently nudge and loosen the belt. And you get the extra pets. Thanks. All right, everybody. Uh, this will be a few minutes before we can go through. The emergency has to be finished, and you got to walk away. Gosh, I'm cold out here. Oh, down here. Lord, they eat. Hi, I'm hungry. 
I'm here to play promotional spot for another D&D podcast. We here at the Necromantic Empire. Enjoy. So, if you have enjoyed this show, please check out the following podcast. Check out Roll for Stupid, a not so serious DD podcast, which sees a bunch of Aussie mates with varying levels of charisma attempt to play some Dungeons and Dragons. Here's a little taste of the highs and lows, laughter and cringe worthy moments that make for an unforgettable adventure. And if you like what you hear, search for Roll for Stupid wherever you listen to your podcasts. Why don't you want to stay from the back right now? It's giving me real bomb vibes. Snail uh, racing. Snail racing. Yeah, snail races. Snail. I'd like snails. to go see the garden. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Kill them all! Yes. I'm like, yeah. Enough. Cookie, I got this for you. Thanks. You're really good at that. <sighs> All right, so uh, you're walking through the halls uh, or getting up to the actual main gate itself. The line is almost non existent because, of course, they space people out. Uh, you definitely hear. <laughs> oh, good. It's excellent. All right, well, battle stations, everybody. Do I have the flare gun ready? Inside. (laughs) Fire through a window. (laughs) Of course, it could also just be open air out here, too. I don't know how the wall... Like, it's normal walls, right? So... When you get a moment, paint a word picture of what the environ is. Absolutely. All right, so as you walk through what is a simple uh, arch made out of what looks like a chiseled limestone, uh, the parapets are all lining up, you walk through that gate into a large square. Inside this square, you have several huts with the, uh, with the plaster walls, and you see some stables. You see what looks like an armory. Uh, these are obviously just for show because this is more of a ride. Uh, to the other side, you see more stables, what looks like an eating area, as well as, and you're not surprised, your gift shop. Right in front of you is another portcullis that's risen, and you see guards probably about six or seven of them, all goblins, easily a third your size, mm-hmm. all hut, 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 heading your way. Among them is one that's slightly taller, and he seems to be in full armor. Ooh. Well, everybody, here's our chance to shine on this new goblin kingdom. Should we text the guys to boom? Not yet. Okay. But I will keep the flare gun handy on my side. Wait, there's not horses in those stables, are there? No, that's nope. how you know it's fake. Yeah, it's okay. all like good. for show. This is kind of like a kid's play area almost. Good, good. Yeah, is there, like a cardboard cut out of a horse that like Cookie flinches at. <laughs> it's got the face missing, so you can like stick Odds. your face in. I, it. I, I want no. the face. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been, but no. There's you hear somebody in the background going, "Oh, that'd be a good idea. I'll tell him." <laughs> Uh, guards are getting closer. What are you guys going to do? I'll draw a blooter. Okay. Just kind of keep it at my side, but definitely have it out. <laughs> so are we dropping the emergency horse thing? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, combat. Woo! I think they're, I think they're definitely more terrified of you than they are me. Okay. But we'll uh, see how this all goes. The seven guards line up with the one person behind them, and you hear a very distinctive, Freeze! <coughs> Freeze! Why? <laughs> You're being placed under arrest under the commander's request. Mm. What commander? No, thanks. Go fast. What under commander? Request of a commander. Which commander? Elbert. Yes. It's under my command. Okay, so is L your first name, or is that like Spanish for the? Are you the Bert? You're in no you? position to ask questions. It is I'm in perfect position. Head. The spears come down and say, Silence! He has spoken! <coughs> Silence! He has spoken! You guys are really putting an effort in on that. I I, I lightly applaud them. Like, trying to do the deep voice thing. Well, thank you. It's, it's See, I'm usually in there and I do the higher voice. Stop so I'm entertaining. Oh, sorry, Arrest sorry. them. <laughs> all right. Drop all your armor and weapons and then put your face on the ground, maggots. No. Help. Make them. If you take one step <laughs> towards us, we will fire a signal that will cause a ship to start firing cannons at this very location. Come on, Elbert. Is there a try me? Is there a fun thing I can do that keeps them from moving? Is it? I swear, there's like a spell or something that lets me do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's uh, the other guy has the the 
this, this I don't quantity. have any fucking resident mages in Omploy. Are you serious? Wasn't important. What? Hate this kingdom. Uninstalled. <laughs> Here, let me ask a real quick question for all of you. Do you know my name? I do. Well, I do. Besides yeah. my present company. Oh. I was going to get that one right. Does any of you have any idea who I am? Just I'm going to I'm going to give you give you a couple guesses. Hogan. Okay. There's one. Hey. Albert, I I appreciate that. You got it right. Good yeah. job. I've been looking for you. Okay. No no question as to why I'm taller? No. I generally don't care. I appreciate that, honestly. It's not a body positivity thing. It's more a matter of the fact I just want you dead. Oh. Well, I actually came here because I had a question for everybody. Well, you can uh, ask that question in jail. (laughs) But I'm not... Well, hang on now, because we got... Again, this is going to be really complicated, Albert. I am acting as a spy for Necromantic Empire to spy on Ariolus. Now, the thing of it is, is I know Ariolus is about to do some shit in about a week, Right. They're wanting to attack the Necromantic Empire at the same time as the Lycanthrope War? And that's a big no-no. Nigel Nigel probably wouldn't approve of this. So I've actually, because, let's face it, uh, I've come here to cut a deal, so to speak. You all got to be getting real tired of this organized theme park shit, Yeah. Right? So, so it's less a matter of cutting a deal, more a matter of... Vengeance? Not vengeance. This seems more like... Finality. Yeah. Loose end. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I don't tolerate loose ends. Nope. Well, we can talk about this more in jail. Again, I'm not going to go to your fucking cell. One more mention of a cell, and I have three kabolds that are going to start wailing on this place with cannons. All right. A spear swipes by your face and misses. Yeah, there's a lot of talk okay. going on. Just get them. Which one of you little... Oh, fuck. All right. I guess we're just going to roll, <laughs> we're rolling roll initiative. Roll initiative, yes. <laughs> roll your initiative. If you oh, boy. I get to participate. 24. Hogan. 19. 18. 15. Cookie. You yes. see all You see all seven guards prepping their spears. They're, they're all getting ready to, to do whatever action is they're, they're, they're getting ready to do in the next six seconds as this round occurs. You go first. What are you doing? Um, I would like to just like stab one of them real hard and then stare at the rest and intimidate them. Which one? Uh, the one that's closest to me. Uh, 19 to hit. You hit. Okay. I think we're, we're also just standing in a line. Yeah, right now it's very revolutionary war. Yeah. We're just going to stand in the lines and throw numbers at each other until one of us falls over. Whee! Like uh, Final Fantasy IV. So, I do 24 damage in my stab. Okay. And then I stare at the rest of them with 21 intimidation. Hogan. Right. In one hand, I hold the bluter knife. Mm-hmm. In the other hand, I take out the cornucopia. Yep. And I slather banana peels and applesauce in front of us. Okay. So that way, if anybody goes to charge, they have to make a dex save to get to us. If this is allowable. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Why not? I mean, that sounds like fun. I think those banana peels for food. <laughs> you can eat them. You can eat most things. Doesn't mean you can get, like, uranium-235 hey, out of it. Hey, you can eat anything once. once. Yes. Mm-hmm. You successfully throw that down there, and you, were you actually using the blue knife on somebody? Uh, listen, they're, what, like 10 feet away from me? Yeah. I'd have they're, to... I'd have within to, spear range. In spear range. Yeah. Um, that spear that flew by me, was that close enough? Uh, the only reason he missed is I barely was underneath your... Uh, oh, it was a swipe rather than a... Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I was about to say, is that close by or did it just like keep going for a distance? It, it, uh, yeah, it kind of went past your head. That's missed fine. You. Yeah. Okay. So they're within range with their spears. You're, yeah. Yeah. But um, now you, for you to hit them... You can you can, you can line cross the forty eighth parallel of applesauce and bananas. <laughs> yes. I'm going to just kind of take a defense action and hold bluter knife and cornucopia as if I'm wielding as a short sword. Okay. Um, I will go ahead since they're already rolling at disadvantage. I'll give you another plus two since you're defend- defending yourself at the moment. Okay, so that put me at a twenty one. 
Yep. Racy. Cookie. One attacks you. And uh, misses. Yay. Spear comes really close to your head, though, and it's just like, you know, damn intimidation. And a 16 doesn't hit you, does it? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Take eight points of damage. Those are some hefty fucking spears. Yeah. Well, it takes a pillager to raise a village, and you gotta have a good pillager. Another one swings at you, misses. The last one swings at you. 12 doesn't do it. Nope. Damn, natural 20 was lost, too. Now it's your turn. <laughs> How many of them are all bunched up? They're all in a line. Line? Yeah, they're in a formation. You know, tactics? Yeah, but like line or spread out circling? A line. They're in a line in front of you. Not not this way. This way. So. No curvature. No. How many could I hit with a 15-foot cone? Three? Yeah. Hey, hang on. If you're 10 feet yeah, away. Yeah, it'd be. Yeah, three. Yeah. We're going with three. I, I'd say two and a half, technically, but. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you either have to get the whole last square or the take half or take none of it, so get the whole square. Are you going to throw up on them? Mm-hmm. And I burning hands three of them. Dexterity saves. All right. <clears throat> oh, my God. Okay, all three of them. And it's, it's not burning hands because you're not using your hands. Right, it's burning burps. Okay, there we go. Burning belches, burning it's a, it's a It's a breath attack. It is now. 18 damage. Panting very hard afterwards. <laughs> My belly hurts. Your Just turn. imagine chunks of entrails and fingers go flying in the burning. Shouldn't have had that habanero. All right. Do me a favor. In this mm-hmm. room. Mm-hmm. You're are, actually in a courtyard. We're in a courtyard. Mm-hmm. Is there any elevation at all? Uh, there's like 50 foot walls around you. The only real opening is the one you came out of, which is a hallway, and you're well blocking that. And the parapet, which is behind them, so if they wanted to, they could flee, and you'd have to chase them. Right. right. But not any, like, catwalks, no rooftops, no nothing? Uh, no catwalks at this level. If you get to the top of the walls, there would be. Okay. That's, like, 50 feet up. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. I like to know that. Like, it's good to know. Good to know. Now, I'm going to give the command for them to, uh, begin to encircle. Okay. Of course, to avoid, (laughs) but just to kind of corral. Okay. Start with throwing a bomb. Okay. I'd like to throw a bomb, please. Throw a bomb. Boom. I would like to throw a bomb at Cookie. <laughs> okay. Throw a bomb at Cookie. Boom. 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 Uh-oh. Boom. All right, that's a 17 plus whatever the fuck. Is it dexterity? Yeah. You and proficiency. Sad motherfuckers. Four. Four. No, 23. No, 24. Yeah, 24. 24. Does 24 hit? Me? Yeah, yeah you. You. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I believe this is a, uh, dexterity save to take half damage, and then whatever the fuck a bomb rolls for. So I also have the evasion feat, which means if I, um, if I succeed, I take no damage. Cool. Each creature within five feet of that point. Uh, is anyone else near Cookie? Uh, I didn't I, move. You didn't move? I didn't move. move. So I would say you, I would say you, the three of you, three of you are in line as well. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> 19. 19. What's your... Uh... Well, it was a, it, this has a DC 12. Okay. So, yeah. Unless you, as the boss, say otherwise, it's a DC 12. DC 12. Uh, I failed. I got it right on the nose. I get plus 7, roll to 5, 12. You're, you're fine then. Yep. So only Kreef takes some damage. Is it, is it meets it, beats it, or is it... Uh, meets it, beats it. Meets it, beats it? Mm-hmm. Okay. I right. should remember that from last time, too. I know. That's why I was like, hang on. But in which direction? <laughs> but yeah. Okay. So then, In favor of the players. Do you have evasion? Uh, I do not. Okay. I am a uh, ranger. D, 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 3d6. 13. 13 to you. Uh, it's fire damage. And then that's uh, half of that. So what? <clears throat> six? It'd be seven because it always goes half, but on the high end. So we round up. Yeah. Okay. And then, Cookie, you just do a sick flip or some shit. <laughs> yeah. I do a little horsey backflip. Yep. So basically you just see uh, El- Elbert just whip out like a Victorian style bomb and throw it over the uh, the, the Nickelodeon fucking <laughs> obstacle course you've laid in front of you. <laughs> now, uh, since that bomb has gone off, I want Hogan to roll a percentile. Mm. Mm-hmm. I, have, mm. I know what I'm rolling this for. Because okay. right. <laughs> it's probably going to mean there's about three kabolds on a silt that's filled up with cannons and cannonballs that are going to think that is the boom. This boom. Thirty-eight. Okay. 
We'll find out next time on... Hope you have enjoyed this episode of the Necromantic Empire TM. Our cast is Alex Fort as Nigel Gambatar, Ford Vacker, and more. Jeremiah Freeman as Cree. Rapunzel the Lettuce as Cookie. Sam Sturgeon as Hogan Savage. Ian Winningham as Maul Gillicuddy. Faye Winningham as Onyxia the 18th. Our district manager is John Simon. Additional voices by Kate Maxwell and Rachel Kearns. Music by Socially Awkward. In 400 feet, take a left turn onto Misery Drive. Find them on SoundCloud by searching Socially Awkward. Mid-2000s experimental musician Chicago Bulls hat. He can be found at a WSN podcast on Twitter. You can reach us at necromanticempire at gmail.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you would like to help support the show, check out our Patreon. Patreon.com slash time of your half-life. Artwork by Joshua Allen. Find more of his work on Instagram at Faceless Cow. This is a Radio Active Shack production. Thanks for listening. This will probably all be cut. Doodly doo doo doo. What's it like to be a player? <laughs> I know both worlds well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They come with their own restrictions, which is why I get to play my favorite class, which is NPC. <laughs> <laughs> Assistant to the DM. I get to play branch manager. I was technically an NPC. We all are. I'm joining a new game next week. Our session zero. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Abigail looks like she's trying to not laugh or throw up. I can't I can't tell. What'd you do? What did you do? Did you <laughs> was it a really bad fire? <laughs> it's lingering in the back of nose. <laughs> I did make that. Wow. Allergic to her husband? <laughs> You're allergic to your husband? Oh, fart in my tea. <laughs> you farted in his tea? Fart emoji. Fart emoji. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right.